Hey, what's up everybody? Gene with Dent Repair Now. Today, we're gonna do a little different video, trying to mix it up and be a little educational. Uh, so one of the things that makes paintless dent repair so much better when it's an option over conventional repair is how non-invasive it is. So today, we're gonna show you a little bit of how a traditional repair would be done. We're gonna show you what it's like grinding the paint off, and then more importantly, what a stud welder does to a panel, you know, if paintless or glue pull repair tools can't be done. So come on back and let's take a look at this demo panel and see what we can do. All right, so we got a little bit of a setup today. We're gonna, you know, shoot. Uh, we're gonna get some on the mirrorless camera. We got a couple GoPros set up, some extra lighting, so we're good. We're gonna do some grinding here on a demo panel. And on the back side, we got another GoPro set up. And we're gonna show you what happens to the back side of a panel whenever we use a stud welder. All right, so here's our tools we're gonna to be using today. We've got a Milwaukee grinder. We're gonna use this for grinding off our paint. A slide hammer that's gonna grab onto these pins. And of course, the stud welder right there that's gonna weld those pins onto the panel. So when starting, you know, a traditional repair, that's really one of the first steps right there is to uh, take paint off of the vehicle. So while we're looking at this, you can see the shiny paint. Here is your clear coat. Then you've got your color. Then you're down to your primer and then your sealer or e-coat. And then this is, of course, bare metal. Woo, that's spicy. So what you're seeing here is actually welding these pins onto the door and that's what you'll grab to pull it and that's done through you know welding technology and you're seeing the burn on the back side so now this is a you know a more conventional method a body shop method for being able to repair dents not such a big deal on a panel like this where it would be really easy to come in here and get corrosion coating or a recoating on the back side of the panel However, if you get into certain parts of the quarter panel or the roof rails or anything like that, sometimes just impossible to get any kind of coating or treatment inside of there. All right, so here's a little peek into uh, another thing that makes glue pole repair and paintless repair better. So this is as close together as you're able to weld those pins on. So what happens is as these are pulled, even when you get the dent up, you still end up with all this up and down and up and down. If we're able to use a glue pulling uh, approach or a GPR approach with a tab like this, we can cover that same distance. But instead of two, three, four, five, six, seven connection points, we get one big connection point right through there. And we're able to pull it up uniformly and keep it uh, even flatter and smoother. All right, so what we've got here is I want to show you how the stud water works. So it slides onto the pin and not dissimilar to how our, our glue pulling slide hammers work. Just like that. And we would work down the panel. So another approach or another possibility is more of a small leverage tool. So you can grab onto the pin and that foot lets you hold on and pull things out. Very similar to a K bar that we use, but a slightly smaller version of it. You go like that, you're able to move metal but again, we've done a lot of damage to get that to move. Now we're gonna show you how we take those off. So we come in with a pair of side cutters. You have to snip them off, twist them as close to the panel as possible. We've gotta grind those heads down to get it back to uh, just regular sheet metal. So that is how a traditional body repair is done with the stud welders, right? Grinding it away, stud welding, pulling the dent out, grinding it down, and then it would be followed up with, with body filler or glaze, primer, paint, 
of course, everything like that. Now, this is not in any way any kind of bash on a body shop. This is how it's done. We put this together more to show you why if paintless repair or glue pole repair is possible, it's a much better option. So there's certainly times you need a body shop. Certainly there's times you need to stud weld. It's the only way it's gonna fix something. It's gotta be done. However, if paintless or GPR is an option, go that route. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. If we can help you out, visit us on the web at dentrepairnow.com or give us a call or text at the number below. See ya.